Greetings to you, listeners at home. My name is Patrick Obi. Welcome to Regional Purchase Online Class. Today, we are going to take a look at some examples of um, calculations on vector, especially with velocity. So, this example tells us about the velocity of a plane and how it is being affected by the wind velocity. Now this is something that has been employed in aviation at all time because whenever a plane flies it is going to meet resistance from the wind speed. It could be resistance if it is in the opposite direction of the plane or it could enhance the speed of the plane if it is not in opposite direction of the plane. So in this case, we are going to see how this aircraft is being affected by the wind. So this is the example. It says a, an aircraft flew out of Abuja on a bearing of 330 degrees and at an angle and at an airspeed of 400 km per hour. If the speed and direction of the wind were 75 km per hour, and 0 30 degrees calculate the ground speed the angle of drift this track so to do this we are going to represent this we are going to represent this in in a diagram so now we can see that this diagram in this diagram this is the airport this is the airport And uh, this is the wind. Okay, this is the wind source. So the wind is going in this direction 30 degrees north east, and the aircraft is flying this direction. But eventually, because the aircraft is flying this direction, doesn't mean that this is the actual direction it goes. So, because of this wind speed going this direction, it's going to affect this aircraft to drift. So, the aircraft will drift at this angle. Alright? So, now this blue track is the direction, is the actual direction actual speed okay of the aircraft so this is the actual vector of the aircraft representing the the speed of the aircraft okay and this is the drift so the aircraft will drift with this angle towards the northeast because the wind is going in the direction of what not East. So we have represented this in a diagram like this. Please try to study and understand the diagram. Um, so now this is the triangle we got from this diagram. So this is the triangle. And looking at this triangle, we can see that we have an inner angle of 120 degrees. We have this side giving us 75 km per hour. We have this side giving us 400 km per hour. And we are looking for W. Okay, W is the actual speed or the ground speed of the aircraft. So in order to find W, we are going to employ the cosine rule to find W. And in order to find alpha, which is the angle of drift, we are going to employ the sine rule. And the track, this track simply means the bearing of the ground speed. So this calculation goes as follows, referring to triangle AWF. W represents this, alpha, track this. And using the cosine rule, we are going to find that W is 442 km per hour. Okay, you can see that the actual speed has been enhanced, okay, from 400 km per hour to 442 km per hour, meaning that the wind speed actually enhanced the speed of the aircraft. So the drift, you can see, is 8 degrees. 
So the aircraft is going to shift at the direction of northeast by 8 degrees. We call that the angle of drift. And the track, the track is the bearing of the actual of the actual um, direction of the aircraft. So you can see the, the, the direction changed from 300 degrees, sorry, 330 degrees to 338 degrees. So this is the bearing the aircraft or the pilot will be moving. This is what it intended to move, but um, after the angle of drift, it's going to be moving at 338 degrees. So, example two. It says a man wishes to cross a river in a motorboat which can travel at 10 meter per second in order to get to a point directly across the river. Every current speed of the river is 6 meter per second. Find A. The direction the man should steer the motorboat. B. The actual speed of the motorboat. Um, I will leave this as an assignment and perhaps in the next class I'm going to treat it. Thank you and do have a nice day.